Hello, Stefan. Hello, Jens Christian. Welcome to Studio Gård. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to visit you here on your farm. No problem. I'm a fourth generation farmer here uh, on Studio Gård. And the main crops are uh, grain and uh, grass seeds and uh, a bit of rape also. And the biggest uh, crop we have uh, is, I think, is winter wheat. Our soil type is uh, sandy loam and we have about 800 millimeters per year uh, of rain. So Stefan, we're visiting your fields here today of uh, oil radish and uh, you've been successfully growing cover crops for now many years, 10 years at least on your farm here. Yeah. So, um, could you please tell us something about how, how do you establish your cover crops oil radish here on your farm? So when we are finished harvesting in, in August, uh, we, uh, we establish these uh, cover crops and, uh, and they're growing on the field until uh, next spring. Okay, so, so you actually, uh, <clears throat> part of the reason for having the cover crops is to improve soil fertility and thereby induce a higher yield in the following cash crops that you're growing here. Yes. This is the main purpose. This is the main purpose, purpose. of the cover crops, yes. Yes. Yeah. And actually does as a reduction in the following fertilizer regime for the yeah. spring crop. Yeah. So that's interesting. So you actually can put a, a value on the, yeah. the yeah. cover crop in that. Yeah. So it's easier to, to uh, establish uh, the spring crops. Here on our farm, when we have two fields next to each other, one with co cover crops and one without, our experience is that the, the field with cover crops, we can plant two days earlier than the field without cover crops. So, uh, is it worth it? In my opinion, it is. As I see it, we get an uh, improvement of uh, the soil fertility and uh, a higher yield in the following crop. It's worth it, for your perspective, also from an economy uh, perspective on your farm here. But uh, it's, a, it's a sustainable way to do farming here. And you're hitting on, on sustainability in two ways, in my perspective. You have the one with the environmental impact. It's sustainable because you reduce nitrate leaching or nutrient leaching from the soil. You're actually doing some carbon lockdown in the soil as a carbon, I mean, carbon dioxide sequestering here, you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of plants growing. And uh, you also have the economy aspect. It's sustainable on your farm level because it's actually improving your soil fertility and you actually account for like 25 kilos of nitrogen per hectare extra on the soil. Yeah. So it actually have an, an economy impact also on your farm. Well, all in all, it's important to me to, to, um, to operate my farm in a sustainable way. Uh, and uh, that's where cover crops is uh, one of the measures to do that. 